entertainment at Walmart, that's still a step up compared to bagging somebody's fucking groceries. Oh, I got sick of that stuff. Anyway, so, back to the Harry Potter thing. So I started watching them, I bought them, and I figured as a goal for, my, for me for this summer, regardless if I'm working or not, I'm going to start watching the Harry Potters and, and try to get in, into them and see how it goes and see if I really like them after I watched all six of them, for the first six. And I and I liked them. Actually, for the first one, I, I actually, you know, I just, I paid attention. I think that's just the thing. The last time I ever watched these, I never really paid much attention. I was always distracted by other things or whatever because I never took the whole Harry Potter thing seriously. But now, after I've seen them and actually I've had a chance to 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 pay attention to them and, and see what they're all about and whatnot, I actually, you know, can say that I'm a Harry Potter fan. It's just too bad they don't have a Harry Potter convention or, you know, where I live right now, and even with the Fever where I lived before, uh, they don't have conventions. They don't have movie conventions over here in northern Minnesota. They probably have them, like, in the cities and stuff like that. Of course, you know, we, we all know about Comic-Con and all that stuff. They don't have any conventions around here. The only type of convention you'll find around here in northern Minnesota, tractor conventions, farm conventions, church conventions, you know, stuff that, you know, it's like old old school 1930s stuff, you know. I mean, it, it, it'll always be like that. And that's just a sad thing because, you know, in Grand Forks, we got, and even in t we got nice big arenas and whatnot that could easily host a convention of a, of a movie convention or, or a comic con or, or whatever, but yet they would rather they'd rather you know have it be a farm convention or whatever, or a quilt convention or, or whatever, you know. I mean, it's just I don't know. <laughs> this area is kind of weird sometimes. I mean, some people need some new ideas. They need some new blood in there that can say, hey, you know, if you can afford this person, why not get a convention going? You know, based on you know, a certain genre or whatever. Anyway, so, so pretty much giving a review of all eight films. I'm not going to review each and every one of them. I'm just going to give my synopsis of what I think, you know, all together. I think the whole trilogy or the whole series itself, not even a trilogy, it's more than that. It's eight films. Eight films that are all over two, almost two and a half hours apiece, close to it. There are no films that are like just an hour and a half or 87 minutes or whatever. These are in-depth films that, and I'm sure if you buy it on Blu-ray or if they ever have like an extension pack or whatever, if they don't already, there's probably more footage that hasn't been seen yet, you know. Uh, a lot of people, you know, after they've seen the, the, the last one, the very last one, they were kind of confused. I was a little confused too a little bit, but then I, then I got it. You know, I, I, I kind of decided that, you know, that's kind of a good way to end it the way they did. I'm not going to say how they ended it, because if you haven't seen it, I, I don't want to ruin anything. But uh, a lot of people were kind of confused on the ending. So if you haven't seen it yet, and you are going to see it, uh, the, the ending really, you know, it really gets to you. I mean, it makes you think anyway. You know, are they gonna, would they make another one, or would they make, you know, continue it? Even though they said they're not going to, even though they said this is the end. But it's just, you never know, I guess, with Hollywood. But I, I do believe, just like with the Star Wars and all that stuff, and just like with like Indiana Jones and stuff like that, I do believe this is the last one. Uh, because uh, a lot of the kids that were all in the series were little kids when they first started 10 years ago. And now they're all older. They're, you know, they're about my brother's age. Pretty much all the members of the cast. You know, I'm 27, my brother's 24, so... They're more around my brother's age than they are mine, you know. So, yeah, I just kind of, I don't know. And what you, I mean, what you guys personally think about the Harry Potter series? I mean, have you guys seen all eight films? Do you do you understand what it's all about, or are you confused at all? I would, you know, like I said, I mean, I, I, it took me a little while to really get into to be a fan. I'm not a fan boy where I'm not gonna buy all the Harry Potter merchandise or whatever. I'm more, if, I mean, I'd buy probably a few things if I could get, like, one of those fancy wands or whatever. I didn't realize that they were selling them at the theater that we went to. I didn't even know. If I would have known that, I probably would have, uh, I found that out after we were leaving or whatever, but I had no idea. If I would have found that out, I probably would have bought one, but, yeah, I don't know. I just, 
Uh, so all in all, the Harry Potter series to me was great. Uh, it began great and it ended great. You know, I am not. You know, all the films were, were perfect. You know, I don't think I would have changed any of them. Uh, you don't often say that about a lot of films, you know, because I've seen a lot of great films in my life so far, and I've seen a lot of shitty films in my life too. And we've all been there. We've all we all thought that this was the movie that we're seeing would should be like the next blockbuster or whatever, but sometimes it's not. You know, not everything's going to be a, what a can be award. Uh, and th this is the type of movie too that a person could never remake. In 20 years down the, the road that they decided to remake the Harry Potter series, I hope they don't. You know, if anything, I would love to see it continue, even continue into something on TV or something like that. But I think it's too late for that. I think the actors want to do other things and they want to, you know, they want to play other characters and play other roles and stuff like that. This is what they got all these guys famous, almost like the Twilight series, you know. But I don't know. They all, you can tell that they're they're kind of just waiting for this to get over with, and they're they're happy that they were able to be a part of it and, and, and glad. But after ten years of playing the same character and all that, you know, yeah, I'm sure after a while it gets kind of old. But but if you love film, if you love being part of the film industry, which I would I would love to be a part of if I had the chance, you know, if I if I knew a way to make that happen. Uh, there is something that I will tell you uh, here, not about Harry Potter, but uh, uh, Brendan Mitchell's out and about movie. Uh, I do what he already mentioned about this, so I can I'm going to say it myself. Uh, I do have a little cameo in that. I'm not going to say what because he hasn't released the trailer yet. But uh, when he does, you'll you'll probably get an idea of what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of fun to to be a part of that. I was, you know, I. I asked him, I said, you know, dude, if you if you want, you know, I would love to help you with your film somehow, some way, you know, I'll do anything, you know. So I told you, if you ever were going to do something that you were going to sell, that people would actually buy, you know, and you'd be able to see, uh, I would love to do something. So he finally said, yeah, you know, he came up with an idea that, that kind of worked, and I was pretty happy. It's not a big part, but it's uh, something that kind of, let me just put it this way. It kind of introduces the movie, kind of. And that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Maybe I said too much, but since he already told, said that, announced that I was a part of it in one of his videos already, I just figured I'd say it too, to confirm it. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my little review. I don't often do movie reviews like I used to, I, and I do apologize for not making that many videos lately. I just, I'm just, I'm trying to think about ways of, uh, to try to make these be uh, videos better, and I think I'm going to stick with this format from now on, that unless I have a really good idea for a video, I'm not going to keep making videos like every week, because that that's where a person, I think that's the biggest mistake that a person can make, unless they really know what that they can make their audience interested in what they have to provide, instead of uh, be, you know not showing much effort in what they're trying to do. And I'd rather just plan special videos, you know, rather than once a week videos or twice a week videos, or because it does get kind of boring, especially when you're not getting paid to do this, when you just do this because you love to do it. And even though I should have been a partner a long time ago, I don't think it's fair that most people get partnership. They said the last time when I applied for partnership, it said, uh, you don't have enough original content. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, YouTube? I, I have plenty of content that's original. There's probably a few videos of mine, I'll admit, there are a few videos of mine that maybe are not mine, you know, that I may have used this, you know, to put on my channel. But majority of those videos are all mine, you know, you know, pretty much. There's over 400, almost 410 videos on this channel, but yet there's probably maybe 10 or 20 of them, or maybe 25 that aren't really of my original creation. Whether it be a you know somebody else or in a video or like it's something on TV or whatever, I understand that. But still, come on, you know, <laughs> come on YouTube, you can do better than that. Help a guy out, you know. I know you have a freaking job. You guys could help me out 
by by giving me a partnership and yet you know make this work you know then I, I, I would definitely make videos every week if I knew that but from now on it's just gonna be this is the format I'm gonna go by uh, just plan a good video and then air it you know make it make it happen I want to I'm trying to try to do an interview with somebody here soon I, I got I, I did uh, talk to this person who I uh, was gonna do an interview with we don't know exactly when it's gonna happen but it will happen hopefully before the end of summer uh, instead of if, if not earlier he just has to have some free time first but I am going to be doing something here soon but I'm not going to say when because I don't even know when yet so anyway hopefully you guys enjoy this video um, uh, thanks for everybody who watched the last video that I did uh, with the uh, the parade I never feel I've never ever filmed my the parade in, in my little town or hometown ever in my entire life and I don't often go to them every year so this is the last time I probably went to the fair or went to our parade in town was probably oh probably five years ago or so because they pretty much are the same every year same people doing stuff or whatever so I thought well I haven't been to one in a while so I think I'll film it this time since I'm here but uh, yeah and if uh, you guys give me some comments on the, the Harry Potter stuff and what you think and look at what I got here got my own Harry Potter background is that pretty cool for my wallpaper so Anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson, and uh, go see Harry Potter, Harry Potter 7, or Harry, uh, Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part 2. You won't be disappointed if you're a real fan. Bye-bye.